Aneka Seo, my lovely Chingus, your Chingu Chingu is back with another K topic video, and this time our theme is Korean vocabulary. It's been a year I've been a K cultures fan, and I have self taught myself some Korean words by watching K dramas and majorly run BTS episodes. The first Korean word that I ever learned is Ve. Ve. Yes, Ve means why in English. And I started using it in my daily life because the actual pronunciation of it in Korean as well as in English is very similar. Now, after a year and digging deeper into Korean vocabulary, I'm starting to feel we as Indians are deeply connected to Korea in a surprisingly amazing way. Wanna know how? Then check it out. Did you know in India there's a regional language in which about 500 words are literally the same in pronunciation to its actual Korean words? Yes, I'm talking about Indian regional language Tamil here. Don't believe me? Let's check this out. Hello teachers, please have a seat. Wanakam. Today I have called you two to record a new video for our K Cultures fan. And our today's theme is Korean vocabulary. I'll be giving out words to you one by one and you have to tell me what do you call them in your language. Exciting much? Let's do this. So our first word is I. And what do you call them in your languages? Na, nan. Nice. And what's the word for you? Na, ni. Bravo. So you are getting the game now. So shall we speed it up? What's the word for father in your language? Appa. Appa. And for mother? Oma. Amma. And for elder sister? Ani. Ani. What's the word for grass? Pull. Pull. And for tooth? Pull. And for to go? Gada. Gada. Surprised, right? Even I'm equally surprised why these two languages share such a strong lingual connection being 4,946 kilometers far away from each other. When I started learning Korean, I realized there are more than 500 words that are very similar to Tamil. But I'm actually very happy because then learning Korean is going to be a much easier task for me now. Let's have a look at two words which you can start using in your daily language as a beginner. Ready? The first word is I go. I go. In India, there's another regional language called Marathi, and in Marathi, we use a very similar word, Aya. Aya. And in Tamil, we use it as Ayo. Now, let's check out some examples where you can use the word I go in your daily life. You can use this word when you are surprised or disappointed. The first type is Tired I go. Type is surprised. I go. I go. I go. I, I just won TTK's contest. Wow. The third type is disappointed. I go. I go. I go. My favorite camera is over. Oh, okay. What am I gonna do now? That was interesting, isn't it? Let's go to our second word, which is my personal favorite, and let's see how we can use that word in our daily life. My favorite another word is way. Way can be used to express anger, pure disbelief, and also confusion. Let's start by taking an example of angry way. Way. Let's go ahead to sad way. I lost TTK contest once again. Way me. Another situation.
situation where way can be used is when you are confused. Confused way? Way? Are you from Korea? Korea? Way? And this is exactly how I have been using such simple Korean words in my daily life. And now that I've taught you, I'm sure you'll be using them too. And that's all for my today's Korean class. I'll be back soon with another K-topic video real soon. Until then, stay tuned to this channel and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and stay updated on more such videos. Until then, fighting and annyeong!